Good morning, Mrs. Carey. Good morning. I don't believe you've met Charles Bryant. He's to be our new school teacher. Mrs. Carey? We've all been expecting you, Mr. Bryant. You seem very young to be undertaking such a chore. He's just out of college. Oh, I love his name. Charles Bryant. So dignified. He looks awfully young to be a teacher. But isn't he handsome? <laughs> Aren't you sorry now you have finished that elegant finishing school? It might be the gracious social thing to do if we asked him to tea sometime. <gasps> Julia, that's an inspiration. How about this afternoon refreshments on the lawn? Well, maybe a small affair. Yes. Oh, we'd better ask some other so it's not too obvious. But we'll start with him. We needed new faces, new ideas, and laughter. Mr. Lord forgets what Beulah has given the carries. A new life. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Well, here are two more carries. Young ladies, I'd like you to meet Mr. Bryant, who will be your new teacher this fall. How do you do? Oh, Mr. Lord, you've forgotten I finished at Miss Somerville's. Then, uh, Charles, may I present Miss Nancy Carey and dear old Miss Julia Carey. My pleasure, young ladies. Excuse me. Oh. Mr. Bryant? My cousin Julia and I are having a little afternoon thing. A fair. A fair today. And we do hope you'll be able to show up. Attend. Attend? And get acquainted with everybody. The whole thing's spurred the moment. Impromptu. Impromptu thing. A fair. And um, we do hope you'll be able to come. Of course we hope that everyone will be able to come. But first, will you? Oh, yes. I'd be delighted. Oh. <laughs> oh, Julia. <laughs> 